Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. This video is gonna be a house update of sorts. It's been people, a lot of people have been asking for a house update. We're overdue, I guess. There's gonna be some life update stuff. It's probably gonna be a random video. You guessed it. If I sound a little funny and congested, it's because I am a little funny and congested. Uh, the family and I just got over COVID, actually, first time Ashley or I have had COVID. Cooper got it as well, so we were, we got hit bad. Everyone's fine now, uh, but man, it was bad. We got, it was bad. I was like knocked out. I was knocked out for one full day, which is insane. From I don't think that's ever happened in my life. I don't get sick very often, and usually it doesn't hit me hard, but... <sighs> So I kind of have a little bit of a lingering uh, congestion and cough now, but I feel pretty much fine. So if I sound weird, that is, that's why. And that's why I haven't made video in a bit. This last week is just, whole family was screwed up. So here we are in the front. Uh, I have this temporary like sun shade here. Maybe I'll talk about that a little bit later. It looks pretty ghetto. But I figured the sun is setting over the over the hill. Let's see here. Can we get can we get dark enough? Yeah, so the sun is actually down. You can see it's still hitting over there, but sun's basically set. So I figured I'd start this video outside while we have a tiny bit of light to kind of show you what's going on. And then we'll we'll get inside. So Try and put some chapters down below if I remember and if it makes sense. But basically we've got the front yard here. I've got a bunch of grass that I haven't cut. My idea, grass seed's expensive, especially brome, which is what I think most of this stuff is. So I figured if I just let my front lawn kind of get out of control, uh, I don't even know if this is brome, but most of what I planted here was brome and it's expensive. So I was like, if I just let it grow and go to seed, I'll get a bunch of free seed to kind of overseed this area. I don't know if that's actually how it works, but <laughs> that's what I'm gonna try to do. Just recently we got concrete patios poured all around the house. So these were just sealed matte sealers. This is concrete, stamped concrete patio. I don't know, some people will like the look, some people won't. It's with a, it's called a black release. So it's kind of a blacked concrete, which I thought would just go with, you know, the black, the black house. A little bit dirty. See if I can clean some of that up. But this is nice because we were living in dirt and mud for a while. We just had like sheets of OSB and pallets and crap all around. Obviously still not landscaped or anything, but at least we have concrete to walk on rather than pallets. So that's a nice, nice update. Um, other update is my old house finally sold. So that actually just closed yesterday. There's little, I had another seller that went most of the way through the process and then the contract was terminated. Uh, that was stupid. So I had to go back on the market and got a cash offer for an, an older retired guy, cash offer. I always wanted to live in the mountains of Colorado uh, and just closed. So got a little cash flow to recoup some funds. For those that are new here, haven't been following, this is a house that I designed myself and kind of stupidly decided I was gonna build myself. So I, was the, I designed it, I was the builder, like physically was here every day building it with, with some help. I didn't build it all by hand by myself or anything like that, but I was building it primary. I did more work than anyone else on it, I guess, because I was here every single day for the whole, the whole process. And then I was the GC as well, so uh, organized and planned. A lot, of, a lot of the house build over the last year, basically started it in August of 2022, um, I guess. At about the nine month mark, I think around May, we decided to move in uh, before it was quite finished, but got temporary CO. And so we've been living here uh, pretty much all summer and wanted to give an update. I'm gonna grab a drink real quick. It's a great time to thank the sponsor of today's video, Factor. 
So Factor is a company that delivers fresh, never frozen meals right to your doorstep, dietitian approved, gourmet, chef made meals, over 30 plus varieties every week. They actually make other stuff too that you can get. You can kind of add on shakes and smoothies and juices and all kinds of healthy snacks. So if you're busy, if you're on the go, if you just have too much going on and you're tired of eating fast food or, or whatever it is, you can be sure to have delicious meals made by Factor, only take two minutes in the microwave. And they didn't ask me to say this, but I've tried a lot of these different meals and these ones were the best. They were the best. I ate them and I was like, man, I should, I should get on the website right now and order some more for myself. But they were really good. The juices were also good. So they offer a bunch of different varieties and choices to kind of meet your needs or if you have special dietary restrictions. So they have keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, vegan, and also just vegetarian options with seafood or plant-based meals. So I'll put a link down below, but you can head over to factor75.com and use code LLOD50 to save 50% off your first box. Again, factor75.com, code LLOD50. All right, back to the video. All right, back outside real quick before it is fully, fully dark. Uh, just to give you guys an update. So a lot of people follow me for, for vehicle based adventure and stuff like that, I guess. So this is just an update for, for people that are interested in the vehicles. I get a lot of questions asking, do you still have this or that? So this is right now, I'm gonna do, give you the full fleet right now. So we got the Jayco Terrain. I still, I talked in a video about wanting to do like a small class C, like on the E450 platform with the box, like but sub 30 foot, like around 25 foot. It's still something I want to do, but for now, this is kind of the family adventure rig or just bad weather adventure rig. Love that thing. The Tundra on 37s actually just got new rear springs and suspension and did some things in here. So I'm going to do an update video on this pretty soon. Still got the 60 series, the 1984 Land Cruiser. Hopefully I'll have some time to work on a couple of these project rigs here soon. The old Poop Cruiser. This is a 1997 40th anniversary 80 series Land Cruiser. Behind that, first gen Sequoia. It's a 2007. It's kind of just my, my daily beater in, in a sense. The Kubota L3901. I actually just bought and installed this guy, I haven't actually even made one hole with it yet, but I'm gonna do some fencing. So I've been putting the tractor to work. Forklift on the front, it's been, it's not on there right now, it's actually right over there. Hugely helpful just moving stuff around. You build a new house, especially on some acreage, uh, tractor comes in super handy. Now maybe a skid loader, skid steer would be better, but that's what I got, a couple, snow blowers so coming down in here to the house so house is there and then on the left here actually we have the foundation of the my future shop barn metal building thingy so it's going to share this driveway and kind of just have a big bottom area down here i kind of wanted to do it this way so you know cooper in the future will have a place to ride his power wheels or learn how to ride bikes or whatever. It's kind of like a big, big-ish, like my own little cul-de-sac sort of. So this will be paved eventually, but this is a 50 by 50 metal building. It'll have a 14 foot high by 20 foot wide door in the middle, two eight by eights on the side. This will where be where my headquarters is, if you want to call it that, where I'll park the rigs. I'll probably set up like a little, little area to kind of hang out and whatnot on the side. I think I'm gonna build an enclosed chicken run, maybe goats as well over there. Ah, in the attached garage, I was working on a few things on my project G35. This was just like a very bad condition on the outside. Uh, relatively low mileage, 100,000 miles on this is a 2004 G35. Interior is really nice, has lots of suspension modifications done to it. I bought this 
car just to learn how to properly drive, like maybe do some autocross, maybe learn how to drift, maybe do some other random stuff, just rip some canyons. Also has a back seat, it's basically a 350Z, uh, but it's had a bunch of the modifications I wanted to do to it. And it was dirt cheap because it's, it's hideous on the outside. So I think I'm gonna kind of fix this up on the outside do a little bit more kind of performance modifications, but keep it just like a, a cheap car to learn to drive on, relatively uh, bomb-proof, relatively easy to maintain. Parts are way cheaper than the GTR. So let's have the GTR, this is still, I mean, I love it, absolutely love it, but probably my stupidest, my stupidest money expenditure of my life so far. Did just take it to the drag strip, first time at a drag strip in my life, and this thing was a blast. Still have that, That's, that kind of lives in the garage right now. This isn't usually in the garage because uh, it's my car in the worst condition. So it's, a, it's an outside Parker, but I was just working on some stuff on it last night. And then we got the Tacoma. This is the, you know, the main, one of the main staples of my channel. It's under a cover right now. Any of my wrap vehicles, I like to keep under covers at least because the sun will just eat away at them. And this is just under a cover because I don't use it very much. This is my Polaris General. This area on the house is my shipping container. It's a 40 foot, nine and a half foot tall, the high cube, just my used shipping container that I use to store a bunch of building materials. I'm kind of using it, gonna build it out, kind of just storage really, not like cool, not an office or anything. Just organized storage. The idea is I won't have much storage, like nothing on the ground, no clutter in that garage, very minimal clutter in the shop. So all my storage is gonna go in there. I'm gonna put a roof from the house basically over to that. It'll probably be its own kind of free standing structure. Uh, but this would be probably where I park the tractor and other things that I don't mind being outside, but nice to have a cover on. And then most of the other vehicles will go into the barn. So I forgot if I mentioned earlier, this is a metal building, like a typical barn with a main bigger center area and then some, I'm having a brain fart, what they're called, basically lean twos, but all enclosed on the side. So I just like the look of a barn structure and that'll, I'll kind of build it out eventually to kind of, I don't know, be my headquarters. Where I film, I'll put a little lift in there and maybe build kind of like a, a little second level room. Maybe I'll do podcasts there. Maybe just a, a spot that friends from out of town can, can crash for a bit. So, and just be a great spot to friends to come. A lot of room for parking, a lot of room for playing, you know, set of basketball hoops or go-karts or whatever, kind of cool little area. And my garage is messier probably than the last video. It's gone through a few iterations. Basically, what you saw in the last video was before I really moved everything out of my old house. So I moved all like the easy stuff, like the mission critical stuff out of my old house to live, but I still had a ton of stuff in there. So since then, this garage is basically filled up all the way with crap to where I couldn't park any cars in here at all. Like just think this area here, mass clutter, but the whole garage. And that was that was a nightmare, let me tell you. So, cleaned out quite a bit of the garage, but it still is an absolute disaster that I hate. So I'm not gonna spend too much time in here. Started building kind of some storage workbench area over here. This is the back wall. Basically, this wall 
we'll have some storage. I got a little sink I got to put in over here. And that's gonna be it. Ideally, I don't have anything else on the floor at all. So that's the plan anyway. And then from the garage, two doors, one out onto the deck. This would be when we're having people over for barbecues or whatever. The boys are gonna be walking a lot through here to the grill or whatever, hang out on the deck over to the barn. And so it's kind of the, the idea there. Also just easy for me to access. And then the entryway into the house. So in the house is like the front door that you know, other people will take. And this is what will be coming through usually out to the garage is ignore some stuff. I didn't really clean up for this video or anything. So this is how we're living. This is basically a big return pile tucked in the corner here. Stuff that I got to return to Amazon or stuff I got to return to Ikea or whatever. So that's that there. I'm going to build a barn door here, probably with like a mirror on it and that will cover the laundry room because the laundry room typically always has some clutter back in here. A lot, like I feel like even a little more cluttered than usual here, but we got cleaning baby bottles and then some laundry and then like coat storage, some shoe storage, stuff like that. Uh, some carpet cleaners, everything. Everything over there. And this, this area really isn't finished at all either. Just built like a little bench and some shoe storage there. So this is probably like one of the more unfinished areas of the house still, uh, but we don't really care about hosting or entertaining people all that much. So it's kind of, I'll get to that at the end. This is just bathroom. I got some curtains I got to put up there. And I don't think that has really changed much if at all, let me kick some lights on. Okay, so this is the, the main area of the house. I've been seeing lots of hate recently on open floor plans. Like people are like, yeah, open floor plans. So I absolutely love open floor plans. So uh, big time, big time lover of open floor plans. We hang out a lot at the island, I hung out a lot at the island at my old house. My old house was a very similar layout to this house. When we have people over, we hang out here. It's good. It's even better now with uh, Cooper because Cooper's main hangout is here now. Actually, he's getting pretty mobile, so his main hangout is everywhere. But if I'm getting a quick bite, making something, whatever, I'm still very one with the rest of the family. I like that. I think if you enjoy the people that you live with, if you enjoy the people you're having over for company, you're gonna want to open open concept, open floor plan, open floor plan layout. So all these people that are saying they don't like them, maybe they just don't like the people they live with. I don't know, but I, I like I like the connection. My little spiel, just because since I built this house, I, my, my YouTube, I watched a lot of YouTube videos on it because I didn't have an interior designer. Ashley's not an interior design, nothing like that. So everything I picked out basically uh, with a little bit of help from Ashley. So all that to say, my YouTube feed is a lot of like interior design, architect, you know, that kind of stuff. And I see people, I mean, this is still probably the main thing, but I see some people like on Instagram too, being like open concept floor plans are out. And I'm just like, you dumb. So kitchen's been good. This window setup, I absolutely love. Oh, so this, this stupid uh, shade, which you can see if you're close to these windows, especially these tall windows, you know, if you're back in the house a little further, it kind of, kind of drops away. But if you didn't watch like the videos kind of talking about the design of the house, this is south, this is in Colorado. So for people that don't know much, the sun in the summer is much higher. Of course, this depends on your hemisphere and where you are in relation to the equator and all that stuff. But like for us, this is pretty much, pretty much South. I think like due South is over a little bit off. It's not like perfectly, but so the sun in the summer basically rises, goes right overhead, goes over there. 
and the house is nice and bright, but we don't have sun coming in because we have overhangs and because of the orientation, the long orientation of the house. The idea was in the winter, the sun is going to be lower like that. So from sunrise to sunset, the sun will be streaming into this whole house, just giving us tons of light and heat. And that will happen. But in the between seasons, like September, the sun's like, low enough to where my overhangs, and I do have like decent size, these are four foot overhangs, the overhangs, and I couldn't really make those bigger without re-engineering a bunch of stuff for having some supports out there, which I didn't want to do, but I may have to. I need to figure out if I'm going to build like a pergola or something. But anyway, when it's still pretty warm, like September, sun is still coming in too much, so the sun actually heats the house up too much. So we're basically having to run the air conditioner, which is, I built this home to be a super energy efficient home. In the, in the summer, it would, we could open windows at night, kind of cool it down, and then with all of the insulation and the overhangs and the orientation, it wouldn't really heat up during the day. And that w was working perfect. We didn't run the air conditioner pretty much all summer. Uh, but now it's getting cooler, the sun's getting lower, we had to start running the air conditioner because the sun was heating the house up so much. So anyway, temporary solution was mount this ugly thing to just give us some shade and back to not having to run the air conditioner at all. So I'll have to think of a more permanent solution for that eventually. Now we got the dining room table which doesn't get used hardly ever, it's really just collects junk, so my rule is we're not allowed to put anything on this table except for maybe some decoration, but I don't adhere to that. Actually, we don't adhere to that. So we always have like something on here and we usually have more things. So dining table, we didn't, I didn't even have a dining room table in my old house, but I don't know, you kind of, you kind of are supposed to have a dining room table, I guess. I'm gonna build a little coffee bar here. I think I'm gonna make a video, like expand this series once the house is done, done, to be like, you know, things I regret or the things I loved, and I know people still wanted a budget breakdown of it. I don't really like talking about that kind of stuff, but I may just because it's been asked a lot. But again, let me know in the comments down below if you're still interested, what specifically you're interested, like, if that's a video of the 10 things I regret about, you know, I, what I wish I would have done differently with my house or whatever, but I can make that video. But one of the things I wish I would have done differently was have a little more deliberate dog food area. I didn't really plan for where that was going to be. You know, you just kind of throw it wherever in the house. But when you design a house, I could have done something a little more intentional. I never did. I did some built-in stuff that, you know, I haven't finished yet. Like this will eventually be a, a dog gate. Like so all of these will pull, they'll all be connected. And I'll be able to close this off because this is where the dog doors are going to be. So when I just want to close them in at night or whatever, I'll be able to close that. So I built some intentional kind of dog stuff that could be a baby gate as well. But I didn't really build an intentional dog food area. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build kind of like a coffee bar that'll have some storage and underneath we'll have some area for the dog food, I think. So that's kind of what some of these packages are for. So I got to build that out. I don't have a full vision for it yet, but right now I'm kind of an occasional coffee drinker. I don't really need it to get out of bed in the morning, but I've always liked the idea of it, but I've never had like an espresso maker or anything like that. But I like, I probably like lattes more or mochas or making those nice drinks. And I kind of have this idea in my head, especially when winter sets in and it's cold and dark. And I just don't want to get out of bed that it'll be something that kind of helps me start my day, I guess, a ritual of some sort. So this is kind of gonna be that area where I can do something and then go like hang out on the deck for a bit in the morning. I don't know if I'll do it, but. Deck's still been good. Uh, nothing really new going on out here. I need to do some, some built-in furniture and stuff. I am still planning on, so we got patios down here. We'll go down into the basement real quick in a bit. I'm planning probably to turf this area. This is the north side of the house. This will be covered in snow and shade and it'll be cold, but 
I still want in the summers to be able to do stuff back here, but it's going to be really hard to grow good grass back here and maintain it. And I don't want more to yo to mow and stuff. So I think I'm going to do turf back here, bought a hot tub that I need to put in. And then we have the living room. It's hard to know scale. So maybe I'll just do this. I'll grab a tripod, set it up real quick. Just so you can get a little more sense of stuff, I guess. I've watched, you know, house tours or whatever, and they usually have someone to film them. I, I should have just Ashley film me, I guess. But this is the, it's still, it's pretty sizable. I was just looking through the camera and everything looks small on on camera. And not that I care if, if people think my house is small, I don't care. But just scale, I feel like, is important. So this is the, this is the living room. I don't have 20 foot ceilings or anything like that, but these are 11 foot ceilings on the peak of this side that comes down to about a little over nine feet on this side. So this is a 75 inch TV here. I wanted to keep it lower. So this is as low as this gas fireplace could go. Uh, I'm basically putting a mantle as low to that here and then the TV. So this is, you don't want your TV high above the fireplace. So I kept that thing basically as low as it could go. I guess while I have on the tripod here, these are some little benches that I built in that can be kind of overflow seating. And then this is my little stand-up desk over here. And let me just kind of grab the camera and go back to walk around style now that that scale thing was done. Okay, yeah, so we put in a fan up here. Cooper loves ceiling fans. This is a 72 inch, uh, just, you know, relatively normal fan. This is a couch we got on Amazon here that the dogs have been tearing up pretty well. Shaggy carpet. This little guy, this is a pretty good Ashley purchase. Little like, foam ball pit dealio. Cooper loves that. So where the dogs lay down a lot. And so we built some shelves here. So Ashley could have some plants. Plants help liven up a space, maybe help purify the air, but a negligible amount of that. Painted these walls black. And these are storage cabinets. Actually, these are wall cabinets from Ikea in this like matte black finish. I installed some spring guys. So we got storage in there. This was like a live edge type top that I bought a bunch of this when it was on sale from Home Depot. So I've kind of, will be using this throughout different places in the house here and then kind of just waterfall that over the edge on this side. Put in a big curtain. So this is actually three, three panel curtain that spans 25 feet of this entire thing. That's on a little powered. I put power up in that corner, had the foresight to do that at least. So this is a set on a timer, but you can open and close it with the remote too. So if you can see, it's powered, kinda cool. But I also have that uh, all smart, so that goes on a timer. Same with, I installed a bunch of other, these are like powered smart cellular shades. So I can do stuff like close the kitchen center shade. Okay, closing kitchen center shade. So yeah can do stuff like that, which is nice because leaning over this and trying to reach up there, I can't quite reach and Ashley would have no chance of reaching. So we kind of made a lot of the window coverings in the house are still manual, but the ones that just kind of made sense that are harder to reach or whatever did smart. So yeah, kitchen's been, kitchen's been fantastic. I'm not like a, chef or Ashley's not and we don't like make videos or anything it would be horrible 
to try. You'd be here standing and you'd be trying to film a video and you have so much backlight. Horrible kitchen for filming. Wonderful, wonderful kitchen for living and hanging out though. The pantry is kind of, kind of done, but just direct. This is kind of the idea actually was originally to build a door, kind of have a hidden pantry. I haven't done that. I probably will never do that because this is just appliances and crap live here and it's pretty much always a wreck, but it's nice because it's just kind of, you know, it's, you don't really see much of it. So, but it's been great, fantastic. Really love that we did the butler's pantry. Other than that, have a few trees over there in the corner. Those are all like fruit trees that we'll see if they live or not. All right, sweet. This video is gonna be longer than I intended to have it, but it is what it is. This was all these white switches. I didn't know I was gonna paint this wall black, so I should probably switch a couple of these to, to black switches, but Maybe I'll do that one day. So over here, I talked about it in the design of the house and some of the other updates and stuff. I wanted to be very intentional about having my office kind of connected to the house, the rest of the house, but kind of have its own dedicated spot. So I'm not gonna get too deep into here. If you guys want like a whole desk tour, basically this is uh, this is where I write most of my emails and stuff and do research or whatever. It's just a full-time standing desk. I got a couple little things to stand on, just powered by a MacBook and a single cable. Got a bunch of drawers with miscellaneous tools and gear, some whatever, tech items, air tags, things like that. So this, I don't know, didn't just kind of thought it looked cool, built it as I went. This is again, another one of those kind of live edge tops, really countertops that I purposed into a desk, a little outlet cover and stuff I gotta put on there. But let me know, maybe I'll do like a whole, whole desk tour. I kind of nerd out on desk tours in a previous life, I was a, uh, back-end web developer, basically what people think of as a, as a programmer, I guess, and spent tons of time on a computer. So this is one desk, and then I have kind of a prop, not really a proper office, but I have an office downstairs as well where I'll sit and edit videos. Uh, so yeah, this cool like fake concrete, this is another countertop. I got some plants up here, I just like the, dangling plants, little pegboard. Uh, this is a 38 inch widescreen monitor, another little plant, some speakers, a little subwoofer. It's actually mounted underneath the desk. This is just a little stool that conveniently fits almost perfect. This spot isn't fully done yet, but done-ish. This is a photo that I took and decided to get printed on canvas. I actually took this photo from the front patio there of that hill right there. So that photo is of a foggy day on that hill. Uh, so that's kind of fun. Then hallway, nothing's really changed in any of these rooms and bathrooms. Not a whole lot has changed. In our bathroom, we've had Cooper in here. I built this, uh, built this, well I just hung Shelves basically, kind of a wall of plants. This is a Treyu's couch, my dog. And we got the TV surrounded by a wall of plants. I just put this up this week, so it's not fully flushed out. Gotta put some more stuff on the, the top shelf and whatnot. But kind of Ashley's plants, and then these are a bunch of like lemon, lime, orange, guava, fig trees that I'm kind of trying my hand at having some, having some inside fruit trees. This one got basically killed by hail. A lot of these were outside for the summer and bringing them in for the winter because they won't survive our climate zone. But this is, yeah, plant wall, 
another plant over here. Bed's not made. Room's a mess. Don't worry about it. Uh, bathroom, still fantastic. Didn't ever end up putting a door on this. We've just been using it open. Love it. Absolutely love it. This shower is uh, four feet by five feet. Basically, it's how long this panel is. Uh, kind of rain, shower, head, and it's fantastic. Excellent. Cooper uses this bathtub quite a bit, so I've actually been getting a lot of use out of that. This is another like power roller shade. Added this piece of furniture just for a bunch of miscellaneous storage. That wasn't quite enough for all of our needs, so added this. More plants, of course. But this whole setup of being in the bathroom, being able to walk into the closet and walk into the bedroom, this whole thing, I mean, it's nothing too fancy here, toilet room here. This has been fantastic. Again, nothing, nothing fancy, just a little design detail to kind of help with the flow, love it. Uh, this, eventually, I'm gonna build a massive, giant barn door, kind of a, I don't know, we'll call it like a statement piece, like I wanna make it look cool, and that'll also be able to slide over and kind of cover. Uh, a lot of times I'll shower pretty late at night, and Ashley will already be sleeping, so it'll be nice to separate that off a little bit so I don't try not to wake her up with getting ready for bed kind of in the shower. So right now it's just like fully open and it's been all right, but probably not the best. So we got the, the patios out here again, which is just so nice not to be living in dirt and mud anymore. I am gonna be fencing and building a fence around kind of the front little yard here for the dogs to kind of have their freedom to go in and out. Eventually, I think we're gonna build a deck off the side and I'm gonna build Ashley a greenhouse over there. Staircase is still cool, I love it. It's a custom steel mono stringer staircase with the big chunky treads on it. This was done by a local fab shop here, actually a subscriber of the channel. Copper Wolf Custom Fab, so they do a lot of staircases. People had a concern here because uh, it was open in the video. This has always been here. It just kind of blends in because this was uh, just made as part of the custom staircase. So it just kind of folds over. I put a little magnet. This is open, but now that, now that Cooper is super mobile, this spends most of its time closed. So had the foresight to kind of build a nice thing into that, so that's been really nice. However, I do probably regret going with the horizontal, I can't really see it, the horizontal. I probably should have gone vertical. I knew the pros and cons. I went horizontal here. The deck is a kind of custom match, like same, same design. I knew that it was like a climbing hazard for kids, but I was like, oh, I'll just teach Cooper and we'll see, we'll see how that'll go. It may be a climbing hazard. But what I didn't really think about, I, I like the aesthetic, I think it just looks good. I like how it looks, I still like how it looks. I think it looks better than vertical. But other than the climbing, what I didn't really have the foresight is that it just catches dust. So these are always dirty. I don't like that aspect of it. Eventually I'm gonna put a fan here. So this is just kind of a temporary light fixture that I put up real quick when I was building the house. But I gotta, I gotta put a fan in there because that's how I'm gonna get a lot of airflow between the levels. That's the idea anyway. So out back, this is the big uh, patio. I don't know, it looks, Looks pretty crappy through my camera, uh, but it looks really good in real life. Like I really, I'm happy with this. I was 
debating just going regular concrete, you know, just like you'd see on um, the sidewalk at a school or whatever, or this little more custom look. It's still probably pretty close to me, but I really do like kind of the black, the black look out here. So this is a big, really big patio actually. Put the hot tub over there and maybe some other stuff, you know, eventually, I don't know what I'll put, but you could put like a sauna out there or something like that. The basement is a disaster. Not much progress has been made. I've built um, some storage that I won't show for like prepper related stuff, but right now just, it's a wreck down here. Again, I've been kind of moving all the stuff in. We have the little kind of makeshift movie theater. Isabella gets more use out of this by far than anybody else. But I had one Fast and Furious party here that was fun to do. I just got these cheapy little recliners that we set up. This was an old couch from my old house. And yeah, it's just kind of a half done movie theater setup. Rest of the basement is equally as much of a disaster. So this is like the guest room basically that is not done. So you got some, <laughs> it was clean. We had some guests in here. Uh, we had a couple people stay over a couple different times and actually utilize this room. And I cleaned it all out. And there's just, just, I mean, it was very sterile, but bed, lamp, and TV. But since some other crap has migrated in here that got to clean out eventually, these two back rooms were basically filled with boxes. Like I moved a lot of the stuff from the garage into these rooms. So this is actually, it doesn't look it, but this is very clean compared to how it's been for the last few months. I fell off a lot working out. Uh, really, I used to, I used to lift a lot in like college and then after college and then COVID hit and I kind of dropped down, bought some equipment to work out at home. And then when I started building the house, I just had no time. So I dropped off a lot. So hoping to, hoping to get back into working out a little bit, kind of started again. Fortunately, you can still do the hundos on the incline and I'm just squatting pretty light. Uh, 220, oh, I actually got five pounds on there. So 235s just for reps. Keep things nice and easy, little Peloton treadmill, Bob. And then this room is kind of where I edit videos. Well, it's not kind of, it's where I edit videos primarily. I got a little sim racing setup and VR and this room's just kind of a, just kind of a disaster as well. Eventually I wanna build some cool, I wanna make this room, this is gonna be like my YouTube room, so I'll probably film on this wall do something that I think is cool on this wall as a backdrop, build a bunch of gear storage shelving. This room, again, I don't know if you can tell, but it's 17 feet wide, I believe, by 18 feet deep. So it's like a pretty sizable room. So you're gonna do a bunch of gear storage. I'll move uh, one of my safes into here. And right now it's just like a disaster of stuff. But yeah, this is my other desk setup that eventually I want to make at least some of this room relatively aesthetic as my primary home office. I kind of want to make it look good slash, slash YouTube area. Uh, I don't spend a whole lot of time down here though, honestly. Again, most of my office work, day job stuff, which right now is largely YouTube and then uh, running the little holster company. So I handle all the emails and <sighs> I handle everything basically. So that a lot of that is done on the computer. And a lot of that's just done on my laptop. Oh, but also did do patios down here, kind of connecting these two rooms with a little separation. I don't know, this is like a guest room. So I was trying to think of how to make it feel a little more private, but I'll probably have like stepping stones to that. This is the main patio, like where the hot tub's gonna be, the deck above, and then this is where like the turf is gonna be. 
down there is just the creek and my nice little kind of forest area. Eventually, like I'll build another little kitchenette area, maybe a little island, and this will be maybe ping pong, maybe pool, maybe foosball, whatever. You know, this will just be the, again, I kind of want, I have some friends with with kids. And then I have a bunch of friends who we all still act like children, obviously. So I just wanted to, I want to be the cool house that people want to hang out at. So haven't had enough hangouts just because life has been pretty stupid, busy lately. But life has been good. I'm still alive. Uh, I've, I've talked about this in several videos now, so it's kind of like beating a dead horse, I guess. But Adventure videos are coming. They're coming back. I was actually, I may go, I may try to go camping this weekend, but weekends are also the time uh, where I just try to knock out projects as well. And there's a lot of stuff I still need to do before winter. So you guys hang with me. I swear I'll get back to content that you guys are probably more interested in, in general, than like house tour stuff. But uh, the, house, the house and the homestead stuff is pretty interesting to me and I think to a lot of you guys as well. So again, for people that haven't watched any of the rest of the series, this is, I bought this land three years ago, I guess, it's 15 acres here in Colorado, a little lower in elevation than my previous house that I just sold. My previous house was at about 9,000 feet we're closer to 7,000 feet here. So still, I'm still in the mountains of Colorado, but a little bit more mild winter, hopefully a little bit of a longer growing season. Hopefully I'll be able to get some colder weather fruit trees planted and grow and maybe some animals. The idea is to be more self-sufficient. The idea is to have a homestead. The idea is to have a little, little land. It's actually closer to town than my old house, so Ashley loves that. She, I would live, I don't care about going to town. I hate going to town. Ashley hates going to town, too. We both like hate going into downtown Denver. It's like if someone's having a birthday or something, we will reluctantly go because we love our friends, but we hate Denver. But it's closer, you gotta do stuff in town. You gotta shop, you gotta do whatever. So being closer to town is nice for, for Ashley and I have I have friends in, in town, I have shops that I go to, I have events that I go to, I have to go to the airport every once in a while. So being closer to the town is nice, but also having more land is super nice. So looking forward to doing more on the land because I've been so focused on just building the house. House is, we could call the house done, it's never really done. I gotta finish, finish a bunch of little things now, but a lot of it is now working on the yard and then working on the barn and then working on the property and working on food and animals and stuff like that. So the channel will continue to follow that homesteading journey. Eventually I'll build out the barn. It's a metal building. So a company is going to come and basically assemble the shell of the structure and then I'll eventually do an interior build out probably just myself. So yeah, but I think I'll probably do a fair bit of winter camping. And then, you know, Cooper's, I think he's about nine months old now. Nine, yeah, he's like nine months old, crazy. So he'll be getting before too long into kind of the age where Ashley and I can just take him out on legit adventures. And that'll be a fun aspect. And I'll still continue to go out on just kind of boys trips and stuff because those are always fun as well so got a lot of that sorry if it seems like i've been out of it in this video i kind of have been it was a long day i just need i'm overdue for a video uh, and i've been wanting to do this one for a bit and i was really trying to wait until my voice was just kind of back to normal because i was feeling pretty much better for the last three days or so but just so congested. And I figured if I just wait and wait and wait, I'll never get better anyway. So I'll just do the video now. So hope you liked it. Uh, again, love to hear from you down below in the comments. I'm trying to think of anything I got coming up. I don't know. Uh, there's been some, I'm trying to figure some things out. YouTube, I'll, I'll keep doing 
YouTube. I love YouTube. I love the idea of YouTube. I love people putting out valuable long format videos for people to watch. I hate TikTok. Uh, I don't even, well, I think I have a TikTok, but just because I made it, I don't actually post to it. I don't like Instagram either. Instagram is basically like TikTok now. I still think Instagram started really cool. I loved Instagram. A lot of, like, I loved photos. I loved seeing, getting inspired, and now it's just turned into something pretty stupid. I mean, there's, there's good, there's good Instagram accounts, and there's good reels, and there's good photos. Like, don't get me wrong, there's still good stuff, but as a whole, I don't really like Instagram. It's just a time suck. Just wastes your time, waste my time, waste everyone's time. I've been hearing that Twitter, not no longer Twitter, I guess X or whatever, is kind of becoming a better platform for sharing media and stuff like that. I'm not on Twitter. I've never been on Twitter. I've never really cared to tweet, like it's never been, oh, I had salad for lunch today, I don't know, never seen, never something I was into, but I uh, had some friends tell me I should really get on there, so maybe I will. Uh, so let me know your thoughts on that down below, if that's a space you like to spend time or what you like to see over there, maybe I'll start posting some stuff over to there, but YouTube will be the, the main thing still. I just have a hard time with social media sometimes, being a, being a social media content creator person. I have to do it. And again, I love YouTube. I would do YouTube, but like YouTube is great. Uh, I mean, politics aside, the, the format and the platform, I don't like shorts. I think shorts are just like TikTok or Reels or whatever, just a waste of time. But long format YouTube, I love. But I would probably just delete Instagram if, if I could, but I kind of have to have it. But maybe I'll move more towards X or Twitter if it seems like that's the place to be. Let me know down below. I don't really follow those trends. I don't really try to try to stay on trends. I don't, even on YouTube, I don't make videos that try to go viral or anything. And that's why I've never really found a ton of traction here either. I'm like the, I'm the anti-content creator, content creator. I don't, try to do anything for growth and it's stupid and I probably should, but I don't like it. I don't like clickbait and I don't like doing things the way that they try to make you do things. All right, we're getting off on a crazy tangent. We're getting off on a crazy tangent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had to sit through that, but I'll probably leave it in. This was the house tour, the update that is Sun is set outside. Now that the window, now that the patios are in and stained and everything, we will clean the windows. No pretty sunset for you, no clouds or anything out there tonight, but we do get a lot of them sometimes and it's kind of nice because we get it out uh, both, both sides of the house. Sometimes we get some very cool colors out back here, which, is you love to see it, but that's the house. Let me know in a comment down below if you want to see just like a, it'd probably be relatively short, like dedicated uh, desk tour and I can kind of nerd out a little more on the whole build setup, what, you know, if you want to see that kind of stuff, what's in the drawers, talk about gear, and then talk about the downstairs setup too. Let me know. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Really do appreciate you guys tuning in, watching the video, especially to the end, man. Thank you. Oh, real quick. So flannel season. Flannel season, this is the flannel. If you missed it, I designed a flannel in collaboration with Vertex. It's a great flannel. Pockets, snaps, everything. They're actually restocking or maybe already restocked this flannel. So as fall is here, we launched this flannel like in the summer. It was really stupid, but I just wanted to get it out there. So fall, this flannel, the last line flannel by Vertex, pick it up. Now's the time. Use code last line to save 15% or more on everything at vertex.com. Actually, speaking of, sorry, I had these set aside because I wanted to see what you guys were curious about. They launched a new line of bags called Long Walks. So these are their like lightweight. We got a fanny pack, actually. I got a black version of this as well. Dad life is upon me. So I've been 
trying to figure out a good loadout just to carry more gear on body. We haven't been doing stuff yet, really, like going out to the parks and the zoos and stuff, but that'll definitely come. So I think I'm going to fit a uh, fanny pack into the rotation, and then I'll probably build out. They basically have this bag in two different sizes. Uh, I think it's the 20 or 19 and like the 28-ish lighter weight packs. I'll probably build these into get home bags. So you can stay tuned for those, but new bags, if you wanna check them out. I just remembered because uh, my code over there saves on everything on the whole website. So if you wanna grab a flannel and a bag, feel free to use it. Link that down below, vertex.com. Sweet. All right, guys. For real now. Until next time, take care.